Have you seen all that? That's, I mean, I haven't Ooh. seen this stuff in years. All right, yeah, that yeah. That was f hilarious. Oh, it's awesome. So believe it or not, Subside is getting close to being 25 years old and for a long time they produced the Subside Sports magazine, which, as many of us remember, we would pour through looking at those absolutely wonderful, fantastic shots of shirts. And it would be absolutely silly of me to not take advantage of having Rob and Craig here talking about some of the fantastic shirts that are in these magazines and some of which they actually designed. So, what's jumping out at you? Lots, at the minute. Certainly on this page is... Um a walk down memory lane. So that's the invincible shirt that you designed? Indeed it is, yeah. That, um, and then we've got Man United's first ever kit, which was which was great. This was a bit of a problem, because I remember when we took delivery on that, there was an issue with the logo. Okay. Where the black from the shirt had actually kind of leaked into, Bled into the... Yeah, it was either that one or the year after. It might have been the year after when we did the dog tooth, actually. Anyway, heads rolled for that because it was an absolute disaster. Yeah, was it um, No, it wasn't. It was definitely the black kit. Oh, of course. Um, yeah. And was that just, was that a kind of manufacturing error? Yeah, it was basically like? because it went on to um, a boat and it took ages to get from China over to, you know, the various places around the world. But basically there'd been some chemical reaction inside the plastic bag. Right. And then all the logos came out and they were great. So it affected the launch date and everything of the, of the away kit. But now I'm thinking about it, I'm almost convinced it was a couple of seasons later, but similar sort of thing. And um, I remember the, the guy at the time, he turned around and he says, what were you thinking of designing a white logo on a black shirt? Like, you're honestly f***ing saying that in your Castle United fan. Like, <laughs> for real? Really? Oh, and there's another one, look at that. Sunderland's... Obviously kit. one of your favourite teams there, oh, Craig. Honestly, I loved working on them. It was brilliant. That was funny because I took the Reg Vardy off as we were designing it and I'd got this um, steam and turd and I put that on as, as its sponsorship logo all the way through until I actually had to present it to them. Um, you just decided to take funny. that off at the last minute? Just yeah, we did. I thought the, you know, the, actually I think, is that him and on the phone? No. Yeah, I did take it off. You're right. All right. All right. See you. Bye.